let's go to the way. I'll get uh, about turn to uh, Joshua chapter seven. We're gonna talk a little bit about Aiken. I guess you can get a lot more out of them, but Joshua chapter seven. <clears throat> My throat still kind of scratchy though, but I'm glad I got an opportunity to do so. Go, Lord, and pray, y'all. Dear Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for your grace and your mercy on us, Lord. You've been good to us, Lord, and uh, just thank, praise you, just bless this service today, Lord, the Sunday school, the, the preaching time, Lord, and pray for anybody here lost, Lord, anybody come here lost, Lord, you just save their soul, Lord, just bring them on Holy Ghost conviction, Lord, just thank you for these folks, Lord, and I pray you take care of pastor and all our folks at the church that's out and sick and not feeling good, and just look over them, Lord, and let your will be done, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Anyway, and just, um, uh, you know, the Bible speaks about keep your, oh, where Aaron at? Oh, he, he's still, he's still around. <laughs> okay. Thought I'd get up. You ain't going to let me get by that, are you? Okay. Anyway, Joshua chapter 7. Verse 21. Um, you, know, you know, the Bible speaks about keeping yourself from idols. It's a good thing. You know, we're supposed to keep yourself from idols, you know, but, you know, idols back in this time was a little different than what we looking at. You know, they had images and stuff like that, a lot of images. But we, got, we have to deal with idols, too, in a sense. But um, uh, uh, one thing about Achan, if he'd, um, if, he'd, uh, if he'd acknowledged the Lord, I mean, if he if at least um, ha had the Lord on his mind, I think when he did this stuff, took the, stu took the items, he might not have been so bad. That's, and that's a little problem, with, I think, with a lot of us. A lot of times we can go through stuff, we'll, we'll act without acknowledging the Lord. Hey, not even thinking about what the God might think about it. Hey, he, could, he should have thought, he, he should have, because uh, they, basically, I think they was already, they was already warned that something's going to happen if you, if you take the accursed thing. If you take the stuff that uh, it ain't supposed to be taken, uh, uh, something's gonna happen to you. You can be killed. You can be put to death. Um, I like that. You know, Pro I know Proverbs mentions it, but I just like the way Proverbs states it. Um, it says, "I would acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways." Proverbs. Let me read that right quick to you. Um, but Achan, he just, um, he just didn't, he just, evidently he didn't have any thought of the Lord. And I like to say, I think that's the way we are a lot of times. We just, you know, we just don't have, uh, sometimes we might, might not be God-minded about things. Um, so he says, he says uh, in, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct that path. If he had acknowledged him, he might have, uh, I think he might have went a little bit differently. Uh, I mean, just not, just to think about the consequences of it. Hey, What's gonna happen if I if I don't do this right here? If I, what's gonna happen when I do do this right here? I know in um, I kind of like that little bit in um, uh, in uh, Joshua where he said that, um, toward the end of chapter seven. It always that always every time I read Joshua in the in the chapter seven, it always sticks out to me, it sticks out in my mind. Um, you know, because sometimes. Uh, you don't think God's going to do stuff, but um, Josh, he said, Joshua said, um, Joshua chapter 7, verse 25 says, Joshua said, why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. Hey, the Lord's going to, the Lord's going to trouble. If, if something go wrong, if you do mess up, hey, God's going to be the one that's troubling. It's going to be disturbing you. Um, <clears throat> you know, the problem, the problem um, uh, was, won't outside the camp. The problem was inside the camp. You know, a lot of times we, uh, we have to deal with stuff. A lot of times our problems don't come so much from stuff on the outside. Yeah, we got to we, I mean, respect stuff from the world. We respect the world to uh, uh, maybe be nasty to us or cause us problems. But a lot of times, hey, we bring on problems on our own self. Yeah, right. uh, we bring, we bring hey, we, you know, the problems inside the camp. You know, sometimes we might have problems with each other in here. You know what I mean? Our problems in our, in our families, you know, we bicker between each other. I mean, I got some problems going on with family now. People outside the family ain't no, don't, don't bother me. It's the immediate family, you know what I mean? The ones that's in the camp that's giving the problem. And that's kind of what was going on right here. The, pro <clears throat> the problem come on from folks in the camp. Um, it, was, it was all Aiken's fault. In um, Joshua chapter 1, verse 16, 
1 16 says and and they answered Joshua saying all that thou commandest us to do can't command us as we will do and wherever so wherever thou sendest us we will go um, according to according as we hearken unto Moses in all things so will we hearken unto thee only the Lord thy God uh, be with thee as with, with Moses um uh, whosoever he whosoever he be that doeth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto uh, thy words in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and be a good. Hey, and he's, he's already told him what's going what's going to happen. I think if he'd have fought back on that stuff, he'd have, uh, he'd have known uh, something's going something's going to happen if I if I do this right here. I guess he thought he wasn't going to get caught. Hey, Joshua, Joshua spoke this thing, but it was God that was telling Joshua to, to tell him this thing. In uh, chapter 6, verse uh, 18, uh, it says, um, And ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourself accursed. Uh, when ye take the accursed things and make the camp of Israel to curse and trouble it. A lot of times when, it, when the problems come on, when, when they do something like this, the whole camp was affected by it. Um, but all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron and, and consecrated unto the Lord, um, they shall come into the treasure of the Lord. That stuff, the stuff that he took was God's. The stuff that he took was, the, was, was for, for God's, the, I guess, whatever, whatever he wanted it for, maybe for the priest to use or whatever, but it was, it was to go to God. Hey, you want to, you want to take any of that stuff right there? Um, you know, Joshua was wondering why, um, um, why they were defeated. In chapter seven, six, in chapter seven, verse six, <clears throat> it says, "And Joshua went his clothes, and rent his clothes, and fell to the earth upon the face uh, before the ark of the Lord until the evening tide. And he and the elders of Israel and put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord, wherefore hast thou uh, at all brought this people from Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us, whom to God we had." being content and dwelt on the other side, Jordan. O oh Lord, what shall I <clears throat> say when uh, Israel turneth their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites, he, he's, got, he's in this, uh, Joshua, Joshua's on, trying to understand, at the time he didn't really, I don't think he really knew what was going on, but he's trying to know why, 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 this, why, why we defeated. Why was, and God's going to give it, already explain it to him ver, in, chapter, in verse 10, it says, and the Lord said unto Joshua, get thee up, wherefore, Wherefore lay, layest thou thine face upon the upon thy layest thou thus upon thy face? Israel hath sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant. Hey, he had a covenant. He told them y'all not, not to mess with this stuff, which I commanded them. For they have been, for they have even uh, taken up the cursed thing, and have also stolen and disassembled also, and they. Have put it even amongst their own stuff. Hey, they took that. They took it for their stuff. Hey, this is God's stuff. They was taken. They, they was taken for him for, for their sales. Um, uh, in, back in uh, Joshua seven twenty one says, and when they saw among the and, and when I saw among the spoils a go, a godly Babylonian garment, um, you know we we see stuff. You know that, that, that's a that's a that's a Babylonian that Babylonian stuff was kind was out of. Was uh, was was supposed to be out of reach of them, you know what I mean? And sometimes we get caught up in in some kind of garments that I mean I don't want to push put it on the women, but sometimes I, ain't, I don't see any in here. Let's put it this way. Um, but you see women out someplace, you know, other churches that does just they, they they might have some kind of I guess Babylonian garments on, you know what I mean? And it might not you know it just ain't appropriate. But you know you know even even that even though God said you know but this is a little different situation. God said not to not to mess with it. Not to touch that thing, even with garments of uh, 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 that models of pearl type deal. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> he um, Babylonian garments and uh, and two hundred shekels of silver, silver and a wedge of gold and fifty shekels of uh, uh, fifty shekels weight. Then and I coveted them, I took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of the tent. Hey. He took that stuff, and, we, and you, sometimes we might not have a problem with, with, with garments. You know, everybody think dress well. You know what I mean? Ain't revealing anything or whatever. But you know, we might have a problem with money. Money, uh, money, if, 
money pretty much get anybody. Uh, that, that, that dollar, it'll pretty much get anybody. And he, when he took it, and you know, and even in the, the um, even though it was gold and silver, you know, it didn't have paper money at the time, but still those, those items at that time was a, probably a, more than likely it was a type of idol. Hey, I mean, that's why they made the idols out of, out of gold and silver and stuff. You know, it might have been an idol in, in two forms, you know what I mean, where they worship it and they needed this money. Um, the idols, the <clears throat> uh, Bible says uh, stay away from them. Um, you, know, uh, you know, a lot of times we don't, you know, the Bible speaks about what a man will rob God. Yeah, a man will rob God, you know, and that's how men will rob God a lot of times through money. You know, uh, sometimes it might be easier for you to put your time in something than put your money, but you get your, you put your money in it, your money is your time and other stuff along with it. You put, and, and, you need your, and you need your money. Um, you know, uh, the thing was, he saw the garments, he saw the idols, and he took it. I mean, you think they, they would have kind of, I'm certain they've heard, they knew about, uh, uh, but they hadn't got to that point yet. But still, we, we know about Bathsheba, but he knew about, I'm certain he knew about Eve. Eve saw the fruit and she took it. Hey, David saw Bathsheba and he took it. Hey, I, I, what we put in our eyes is a, it's a terrible thing. We look at some stuff, I mean, I'm all, it seems like I'm always, Lord, forgive me for, for, for looking at this. Lord, forgive me for this or, for this, for that, for this or that. I mean, it's what, what goes to the eyes. Hey, um, you, you think that he would, they, you know, and even us, we don't learn. We don't, we don't always learn, uh, learn from, from, from our mistakes. Uh, but, you know, toward the end of that chapter, it said, uh, where it said, uh, the Lord was troubled you this day. And sometimes the Lord just got to trouble us to get us right, you know what I mean? Sometimes God just gotta disturb us about things to get us right. You know, um, Joshua was, Joshua, Joshua was, um, was concerned about this thing. Let me say this first. In, uh, in uh, Romans 14, 17 it says, none of us uh, live to himself, no man dies to, his, to himself. That thing won't, won't just affect Achan. That thing's gonna affect his whole family. It didn't, it didn't, it just didn't disturb Achan. He won't, Achan wasn't going to be troubled that day. Hey, and you know, even some stuff that we do, you just think about, you know, acknowledging your own actions. Hey, uh, just some stuff you do. Hey, it, a lot of times it don't, might not affect just you. It might affect your family. Hey, it might affect the way people look at you, or look at Christians, or how people look at our God. Hey, and, um, how people, I think, I think Joshua was, was concerned, in verse uh, 7, I think Joshua was, was concerned about how people looked at his God. And Joshua said, alas, verse uh, seven, chapter 7, 7, Joshua. And Joshua said, alas, O Lord, there, uh, wherefore hast thou uh, at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Uh, would to God we had been content and dwelt on the other side. O oh Lord, what is thy, O oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turneth their backs um, before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear it. Hey, Joshua was concerned about what other folks thought about it. I mean, we should be concerned about, I mean, I was talking to uh, somebody a while back, and they said, uh, you worry about what people think about you? And to a extent, I do worry about what people think about me. Hey, as we Christians, we should, we should all worry about what people think about you. I mean, because we're, we're a reflection of our Savior. This is a reflection. Your God allows this kind of stuff to happen. People already got people already got a, a, a mindset of how Christians should be, and they think. I mean, and some of them think you're supposed to be above average. Your standards supposed to be higher than anybody else's. Um, you know, um, Moses. Moses also also uh, was concerned about. Let me read something in Exodus, Exodus chapter thirty-two. Is Moses, hey, he was worried about what, what other folks thought about it. In uh, Exodus chapter 32, verse 11, it says, um, And Moses besought the Lord God and said, uh, Lord, why do thou, uh, thou wrath wax hot against the people uh, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt and great power, with great power and with mighty hands? Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, um, For the mistress that did he bring up, bring them out 
to slay them in the mountains. Hey, he was, he was, Moses was concerned about what the Egyptians were saying. Hey, you done took them out, and you're going to let them die like this right here? Moses was concerned about what God's actions and how people was going to look at him. Hey, look at Deuteronomy uh, chapter 9. Deuteronomy chapter 9. I mean, it's a, I mean, we look at Moses as a great man. Is it, is it, is it, yeah, he might have messed up, but he, did, he was still a great man. J chapter 9, verse 28, it says, Lest the land, lest the land which thou broughtest us out. Uh, you know, that first incident was um, when um, God was going to destroy them folks because uh, they made that golden calf. God was angry with them. Anyway, uh, in verse 20, it says, Lest the land which thou broughtest us out uh, say, that's the language I probably say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land of which he promised them, and because he hated them, he uh, has brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. And God didn't want them to, to kill them because he didn't want the people around that to look at them in a different, yeah, God, he do what he wanted to do, but he, is, he was, all I'm saying, my, my point is that he was concerned about what the, the neighboring nations would think about him and his God. And that's about, and that should be our mindset. We should be concerned about what folks around uh, think about us and our God. Hey, because of the way we dress, or speak, or talk, or act, or whatever. I mean, some you know, that's, that's all right if you if, if everybody think of you as a as a holy roller. You know what I mean? If I think of you, hey, but he's always coming around telling about Jesus. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. Hey, but you don't hey you don't want to be suffering for evil doing. That's the idea. It's not to be suffering for evil doing. Hey, not to have that, that name out that you are, that you are always bad. Um, the, the, and another thing we can learn from, from Achan right here is that that scripture says uh, you are seeing you'll find you out. Achan, he tried to hide that thing. He could, but he couldn't hide it. God, he couldn't hide it. We'll talk about that a little bit, little bit in a little, what, a little bit more in a little while. Um, well, you know, you, you know God's angry when He said, you know these. Achan was part of his people. That's part of the tribe of Judah. Um, when he said that um, he's, God was against burning of his people, you know what I mean? To, but he was, he, he was going he was to burn them. Uh, look at uh, verse, in, um, let me get to it again. God was, he's, he's against burning up, burning up. I mean, you had to be, you had, there are instances, I think there's other, other instances where uh, people were burned and God allowed them to be burned, but you had to be a bad, a bad man, a bad person for God to want you burned. Um, seven, so, so that, tells, that tells me, that, you know, I guess I can go back still to that idea. Those idols, hey, it may have been gold or silver, but there was idols of worship. And, you know, Babylonian worshiping something of, of Babylon. Um, that AI, AI, they, they, they wicked folks. Um, verse 15, it says, um, And it shall be that he that is taken up with a cursed thing shall be burnt with fire, um, he and all that he hath, because he hath transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he hath walked folly in Israel. Uh, in verse 25, it says, um, And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble you this day. He said, he said, stone and burn them with fire after they have stoned them with, with stones. Hey, so he said, he's going to stone them and burn. Hey, what if they took the, that idol worship was wicked. And, um, and I, I, can't, I can't help but think it was gold, it was silver, it was still a monetary thing, and it went to God. And I can't help but, but, but relate that to tithes. I mean, that was a, uh, I mean, that's what God required from, from them, from, from that, uh, from that right there, it was a, in a sense, it was a tie. It was a, it was a tie because um, if, if, um, if God had a gay, if AI, if if God, if AI had, if God, if Aiken hadn't have taken that, that was that would have been the, that would have been the first tenth of the rest of the cities that was that was that was they gonna conquer. Hey, and God always get the first fruit. He was taking the first fruit from Jericho. Hey, they would have they could have gotten. They could have gotten their their spoils from from AI. AI would have been the, been the uh, country they got their spoils from. But God always said, "Hey, give them the first. Give them the first. Hey, that that tenth would that tenth went, that tenth belonged to God. Hey, um, the curse thing. I mean, uh, it, it makes makes us think that how important a tithe might be. 
you know, sometimes you might, you know, you, you might you give our tithes, but when I read it, like, read it in this sense right here, uh, tithes might be pretty important. I mean, tithes might be, it might be something to it than just you sacrifice a little bit, giving your money, giving to God. But hey, God thinks, I think God thinks a lot of that, a lot of that tithe. He thinks a lot of that tithe. Hey, you give it, give it the first fruit. Um, God wants to, you know, he's always wanted the best of everything. I mean, I know sometimes, you know, hey, not to sound like I'm boasting or bragging on myself, but when I, when I, if I give cash money to tithe, I try to give the crispiest dollar bill I got. Well, I shouldn't say dollar bill. I should say twenty dollar bill. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I shouldn't say dollar bill. But I mean, I try to get a, the crispiest one I got. Hey, to get the, the best one of them. You know what I mean? I mean, that, uh, that's just the way. It, I mean, I just think that's the way it, it should be. Um, give him the best. He wanted the best of everything. Um, I mean, shoot, when he uh, shoot when you when um they they sacrificed the lambs, he didn't want no one with blemishes on him. Right. Hey, he wanted the best one. The best thing, and um, and like I say, if I can say this again without sounding like I'm bragging, hey, and, you, and it gets back when I was saying something about the giving the best of your, your Christmas dollar or twenty dollar bill. Uh, I need to chalk that up. We ran that up to a hundred or something. I said, y'all don't think I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm skipping on the Lord. Hey, um, the, the uh, I forgot my thought. Anyway, it'll come back to me in a little while. Oh yeah. That goes right back to the point of acknowledging God. Hey, have him, on, have, have him in your thoughts and all, try, to keep, try to keep him in your thoughts. All. We, got enough, we got enough world out there that's going to throw out, that's already going to curve our thoughts. But hey, try to keep him in your thoughts at all times. At all times. Um, Achan sin, it, uh, it denied uh, God as first fruit. It denied God uh, what was his. I mean, when we, when we don't give our time, we don't, we don't give God what's already his. He's his. Hey, like I said, like I said earlier, God, see, God ain't trying to, he, try, he ain't trying, he won't try to keep AI, I mean, Aiken from a blessing. He was going to get us, if he'd have if done right, he'd have got, he'd have got his spoils, he'd have lived to get his spoils on down the road. But he didn't, he wanted, he wanted a man. Hey, there's, I think there's something too waiting on the Lord. I've noticed, I've noticed in my life, and you see, like it took how long I've been saved, 20 some years? It seemed like it took the last three, four years to understand that if you wait on the Lord, things just start to come together. You know what I mean? I guess I, my, I get my head that thick, you know what I mean? And it seemed like it just take a long time for me for the, and, but I understand, you know, sometimes I had to wait it because wait, because I ain't had no choice but to wait. But uh, but I but I noticed that when things didn't when I did when they didn't come immediately, it just seemed like they just flowed a little bit better, just things just come in, just just fell into place better. And you still end up, you hate to say it, but getting stuff you want. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just still, I mean, gosh, like they, like, hey, we just come out mission conference, and they, they, they threw down on you can't outgive God. Ain't, hey, ain't no doubt about it. I, I'm saying this now, and something bad might happen tomorrow, but just hang on in there. Something good be coming on down the road. Hey, just be patient. Just wait on the Lord. Something, something, something good on coming on down the road. Um, we should, we should, we should learn to wait on the Lord. Hey, just try not to. I mean, our word, the world we live in. I was talking about was up to our family get together. We had a, uh, you know, one guy. He's a little bit younger than me, but he still understood that. All about everybody want everything now. Everybody want everything they want it now. And uh, I, I want to talk. I want to call out some of my family names and say they want it now. But I better not. They might be listening to me. I might not be getting invited back to nothing, to their house or nothing. But hey, but everybody, but everybody wants it now. I mean, if they, if they, if they wait a little bit, they can get something better down the road. <coughs> get it better down the road. Uh, AI could have got something better and please God at the same time. He wouldn't have got killed. In, um, in jo Joshua chapter 7, verse 15, I can't help but think that um, AI knew. I mean, I know God said that, um, he, God said that uh, whoever take the cursed thing, they're going to be cursed and they're going to be burnt and put to death and everything. But, I, you know, sometimes you, I mean, you know, Moses is, is, is uh, I guess I hate to say it like that, but talk God out of 
Yeah, hey, Lord, don't do this to him. Don't destroy him right now. Hey, I can help but think, but if AI had a confess this thing, he might have, he had some chance, I think he had some chances to get, to get right. In um, verse 15, it says, uh, and it shall be that uh, he that is taken with the cursed thing shall be burnt with fire, he and all that he hath, because he hath transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he hath walked folly in Israel. But, hey, the Bible said he walked folly in Israel. That folly, I, mean, I guess made, made Israel look like some fools. And it, it, ain't, uh, and it, it ain't so much Israel. Hey, hey making God look in, the, put God in a foolish light. God in a foolish light. So Joshua, so Joshua rose up early in the morning and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the word's getting around that something's going on. The God, the, uh, Joshua's starting to think, and AI might be. I mean, uh, Achan might be getting out of there. Something. That I got. I, I know what they want. I know it. I mean, a lot of times we run in a situation, and uh, I, I remember but, uh, Jim. But Jim Floyd said he he caught a guy lying or stealing something at his shop down there, and he said he gave him he gave him three or two or three chances to get right, two or three chances to confess it. And when he when he just confronted him with him, he just said I got I had to fire him then. And I gave him all these chances to get right. You know, a lot of times God gives us chances to get right to confess our sins, and we may not do it. And then, we, and then we got to deal with him. Um, anyway, and he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zerites, and, the, and brought the family of the Zerites uh, man by man, and Zabdi uh, was taken, and he brought his household man by man, and Achan, and the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, the son of the tribe of Judah was taken, and Joshua said unto Achan, my son, uh, give, I, give, I pray thee, glory to God. That's one thing Achan was doing. He was taking glory for God. God said, ain't nobody going to steal my glory. He, he was, and since he was taking glory from God, give glory to, to God of the God of Israel and make, and make confession unto him and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. I'm, I, I'm thinking that he might have had a chance to get right with God, to confess his sins because What's his name? Uh, Joshua's coming, and they know what God says is going to do to him. I mean, he may, he may have had a chance to get it right, but it's a lesson to us that you know, we're on the grace. I think we've got a lot of chances to get right. God gave us an opportunity. Today. Just, hey, he just told us, he, in First John, he tells us to confess our sins, and he'll forgive it. Um. Like I say, like, like, I mentioned earlier, like, not only did he he didn't confess his sin, hey, he brought fall into Israel. He made he made Israel look look bad in the in the sight of other people. Um, he didn't get did to get God the glory, although God was um, he in a sense he thought God was a was a fool that God didn't didn't know. I hate to say it, I, I, I don't forgive myself for Lord forgive me for saying in, in that sense. Um, for lack of better word, uh, phrases, but um, in Psalms, he thought he thought he was he thought he was just like, I guess like anybody else. Psalms fifty, he thought he was just like about like any other any other God out there or anybody else or just uh, didn't know what was going on, didn't know what was going on. In Psalms 50, 50, 50 21, Psalms fifty twenty one. It says, these things have thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And that's what happened. Hey, he thought he was just, he thought, he, he thought uh, God was just like any other, any other God, but God's going to set it straight. And that's exactly what he did at the end of that thing right there, end of the Bible, stone, stone and burn. Hey, God, God was setting them straight. Um, it was kind of, um, you know, it, it's like to me. I was just, I can't help but think it was, just, it, was, it was disrespecting to God. It reminds me of Moses when he smoked the rock. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just straight out disrespect to God. God didn't look at it. God didn't look at that thing the same way Moses looked at it. Um, Joshua uh, seven thirteen says, um, Joshua seven thirteen. Hey, you can't you can't stand. 
sometimes we have problems with uh, just our conscience and um, just um, <coughs> dealing or having blessings of God because we have sin that's in us, that's, 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 har that's harping up in us um, because we won't get rid of some things. And um, Joshua 7, 13 it says, uh, up, sanctify the people and say, sanctify yourselves against the morrow. Uh, for thus says the Lord of God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of thee. O Israel, thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. Hey, he couldn't, they couldn't, everything, they couldn't face, I mean, we look at sin as an enemy. You can't face other things that you've got to deal with until you get rid of some stuff you already got going on. Some stuff you just got to get out. You just got to, I mean, and God makes it easy on us. Just confess, it. Lord, I'm sorry I did this. I did it. I'm sorry for it. Would you please forgive me? It put, hey, that's part of that putting you right back in fellowship with God. And he, and hey, you just like, a, I don't want, you can't say brand new son, but hey, you just, you just like new to him again. Hey, you've been like reconciling the sins. Hey, you, uh, and that's what, that's all he wants. He wants to have that fellowship with you, and you can't have you can't have that fellowship with God unless you unless you confess your sin. God just had to get rid of the sin right here. He just got rid of it right here. Um, you know, you know, when you look at that, that, that accursed thing was was it was anything that was the stuff that God disliked, and that's what sin is. Anything God disliked. I understand that we we might. Some stuff that we do every day that might may be sinful or whatever, but I believe you do enough, you harbor enough for that. But this is some stuff that you might do that's just might, might be a little, little far out there that you really need to get that, uh, take care of. Anyway, in um, in Joshua chapter seven verse twenty one, it says, uh, "When I saw amongst the spoils of the God, good, goodly Babylonish, Babylonish uh, garments." And the uh, two shekels of silver and the wedge of gold and the fifty shekels of shekel weight. Then I coveted them and took them, and behold, they had they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran into the tent. Hey, they ran. Hey, Joshua knew that we got to hurry up and get this stuff out of him. We got to we 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 got to hurry up and take care. This problem, and that's the same way with with sin that you, you might be dealing with, or whatever. The longer you hold it, I, I've had stuff, I've had bitterness and stuff in me, and for it run for months, months. And once I got rid of it, it was like, dang, Ted, why didn't you do that a long time ago? You know what I mean? Hey, but if you get you get rid of the, you get rid of this stuff, you, hey. It may, but he, he, Joshua said, Joshua said, run. He said, hurry. They hurry it up to get to get to that stuff and got rid of it. So if you got something going on in your life, whatever it is, so like I say, bitterness or whatever you got going on, you need to hurry up and get take care of it. Hurry up and get rid of it. Um, also, you know, I always wondered about the, um, I, I guess, being Sunday school lesson and everything. Uh, the iniquities of the father. In the, what is it, Ezekiel? Where's Ezekiel at? We just finished reading Ezekiel, didn't we? 18. I always wonder about, um, but you know, sometimes these folks were. I know sometimes when you read when you read that part in in, in, in uh, Joshua, it said uh, stone burn them as the, as the collectively all of them. Then it said that uh, that stone him. But I don't I didn't quite understand it. I still might not know, might not understand it, but I still would like to kind of bring a little bring some attention to it. Um, And Joshua 20, and, I mean, Deuteronomy 24, 16. I mean, everybody know what I'm going to say here. It said, in Joshua 
in Deuteronomy 24, 16 says, the father shall not be put to death for the children, neither the children for the, be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. In um, Ezekiel 20, it says about the same thing. The soul that sin, you know, when you think about that soul, that soul, uh, I mean, it could be a, it could be a, you know, spiritual sense or a physical sense too. Um, anyway, it says that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquities of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquities of the son. The um, righteousness of the righteousness shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. I, um, I get kind of was in a toss-up on this thing. Is that kind of, how, how could but the Bible speaks about in you know, Joshua that uh, he was going to kill them. So I took it as that he was, yeah, Aiken's going to, we know Aiken's going to get it. But I'm thinking that he took the rest of them too. But why would he take the rest of them? I mean, so, he, so I'm saying so he killed the, killed the children, the, the, the wives, the, 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 the cattle. We, we, we pretty much were going to take the cattle and take the, the, the gold stuff. The only thing I could figure is that Joshua, that, that um, they were in it too. They, the rest of the family, they knew about it, and they were in on it too, and is guilty by association. That's something I, that's something I can figure. Yeah, I mean, maybe guilty by association. Um, but I know that he said, because in Joshua, he said that he would uh, kill them. And then he said that uh, stone him, so it's kind of threw it off a little bit. So the only thing I can figure is just it's a guilty by association that he was that they had, evidently had known about it, that he had it, and wouldn't and wouldn't and wouldn't confess on it. Um, Joshua 7, 24. And that's where I, and it's Joshua 7, 24. And Joshua and all Israel with, with him took Achan, the son of Zerah and the silver and the garments and the wedge of gold and his sons and his uh, daughters and his oxen and his asses and, and his uh, uh, <coughs> sheep and his tent and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achan, Achor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? Um, the Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones and burned, and burned them with fire, and they, for they had, for they had stoned them with stones. That's basically where I get that idea. Hey, yeah, I believe God may not. Hey, uh, if, if I do something, my son, my son shouldn't. My son will suffer some things just because I did it and it was related. But evidently, they may have been had uh, they hands in it somehow, had hands in it somewhat somehow. Um, you know, and it's just like, um, uh, you know. You can't be saved because your mama was saved. You know what I mean? You got to you got to you got to uh, accept Christ when you're saved. You can't be saved because your grandma was saved, or or vice versa. She can't be saved because you. Hey, the pastor's wife can't mama can't be saved because he's a preacher. You know what I mean? Hey, you got to hey you got to be saved on your own. I mean, you can't you can't run behind on somebody else's salvation. It's all about it's uh uh uh, uh I can't. My great grandmama, I, I, they always, I heard all this talk about praying and praying me to, uh, praying that I would be saved. But I can't be saved because they were saved. Hey, uh, just like uh, you ain't, you don't necessarily have to pay for the die because of your father's sin. But hey, you better have your own salvation. You better, you better accept Jesus Christ for yourself. Um, you got to, like I say, Bible say you must be born again. It ain't talking about. Uh, I guess your mama might have it already. Your daddy might have it already, but ye must be born again. All right. That's it for Sunday school, y'all.